In this video, we're going to have a look on the first budget smartphone from Samsung with a triple camera. This is Variety Stick, and let's find out. Now, seven months back, Samsung came with a Galaxy A20, the original version, and that one has been success for a lot of reasons. The phone uh, came with 4.5 inches, infinity display, good camera, dual camera, fingerprint, facial recognition, fast charging, 4000 milliamp battery, stuff like that. And then they've decided to go with another step up Samsung Galaxy A20, and this one is the S variant that has a triple cameras over here so this is basically the main difference between this release and the previous release and there is some differences I will explain it to you later on in the video now this phone comes with two different models one with 3 gigabyte of RAM 32 gigabyte for internal storage and if you need more storage you can go with 64 also you're gonna get 4 gigabyte of RAM but of course you have to pay a little bit more I got this one from Amazon for price tag $189 if you guys be interested also I'll leave the link in the description box in case if you want to buy this device now quickly let me give you the specification start with the size screen 6.5 inches the original 820 6.4 inches it's high definition, it's not full high definition. The resolution 720 by 15, 60 infinity display 19 by 5 by 9 for the ratio. So it is something similar to the 820. Now for the processor, this processor by the way is not Exynos. We have Snapdragon 450. 450 processor is not a powerful uh, processor. The Exynos, it might be faster. But by the way, I do have both versions. I'm going to be doing a speed test later on. So you guys make sure to subscribe to Variety Stick in order not to miss that. Now this model has 3 GB of RAM and 32 for the internal storage as I explained to you. There is two different models. You can get more. It's up to you if you want to pay more. And for the camera we have 3 cameras on the back of the phone which is 13 megapixel wide camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 5 megapixel depth sensor. I'm going to speak about the camera later on on the video. And finally we have the USB-C type charge which is 15 watt not 18 watt similar to the original a20 and for a thousand milliamp for the battery now let's go ahead and start the unboxing And here's the phone as you guys can see so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove and by the way I got this red color the color is so beautiful and this is actually covered with a uh, plastic shiny plastic as you guys can see the phone looks stunning actually and here's the triple camera as you guys can see fingerprint also the build construction all made out of the plastic but the phone feels very sleek in the hands and the phone is very thin as you guys can see here's the volume uh, record keys and we have the power key on this side now as you know as always guys we're gonna uh, actually set up the phone and we're gonna spend some time and then we're gonna come back with my opinion now after spending a little while with the Samsung Galaxy H1s uh, the truth is I'm not impressed for many reasons first of all the size screen it's considered a big size screen 6.5 inches only high definition IPS not super AMOLED as we have seen in a regular A20 this is a downgrade in my opinion now if you put side to side the Galaxy A20 and the 20s you guys are gonna be able easily to judge the screen the screen and the A20 because it's AMOLED it's way much better in addition to this Samsung uses Snapdragon 450 now 
two years old processor that doesn't have the best performance I would accept this for a phone with a price tag $80, $70 not with a phone that cost me $200 now if you think that you're going to be able to play heavy games that have require a lot of graphics the Snapdragon 450 has a GPU only 506 Adreno that's not capable to play games like uh, Fortnite, PUBG, Call of Duty you're not gonna have the best experience also there is another important thing like in the Galaxy A20 I was complaining about the fingerprint is not the fastest and look guys how long it takes that fingerprint just to unlock I mean it's not 100% accurate I would give it like 90% for accuracy but it is a slow fingerprint reader over here compared to what I have reviewed before like if I want to compare this fingerprint to the Redmi 8 for instance the Redmi 8 is a way much better fingerprint reader and it's 100% uh, more accurate than the Galaxy A20s. Also another important thing I mean the Galaxy A20 came seven months back from now and came with Android 9p and we still have a new release over here also comes with the same operating system I'm not sure even if they're gonna push it updates or not for this particular device so I'm not sure if Samsung will do this or not but I will keep you updated if anything happens but why Samsung you actually manufacture phone and install the software or the old software you better have the latest Android which is Android 10 and that's something annoying me now just to be fair I kinda like the language design and the color the red color is so hot as you guys can see it looks stunning as well as the infinity display it makes the phone look very futuristic device I mean the grip is nice 6.5 inches I would consider this is a big device but you don't feel this phone is huge this is almost a tablet by the way guys I mean the speaker still located on the bottom with a C type 15 watts which I see because the regular a20 is 15 watt fast charging uh, doesn't bother to be 18 watt but that's not happening headphone jack still available and microphone and the a triple a camera and since we're talking about the phone has a triple camera as I say 13 megapixel main camera wide and we have 8 ultra wide and we have depth sensor actually 5 megapixels so 3 and we have 8 megapixel for the selfie camera now let's shift to the camera application we will have videos first of all and video doesn't support 4k so the maximum will be uh, 1080p for the resolution and then you can go to the uh, photo first you will have the option where you can switch between the ultra wide and the regular wide camera as you guys can see so it's a nice option to have in case if you want to take more from the frame which is something good in my opinion and then we're gonna have something called live focus and the live focus is basically the portrait mode and you will have actually a bar where you can adjust the the blurriness which is the bokeh effect that you can get on the screen it does work even that after i have taken the pictures like i felt these pictures it doesn't look real which is i'm going to show you on the display how they're going to look like and then we will have a, a pro mode where you can adjust the brightness the iso and other things i did not see hdr in this uh, camera so this camera application is very basic and finally the panorama in case if you want to take panorama pictures in my opinion basic uh, camera application but pictures in general they're very acceptable I mean it does take good pictures for selfie camera actually I was able to take good pictures but the skin tone it's just over exaggerated like when I took the picture for me like it's so much filters in my face and the picture was not looking very natural that's at least in my opinion but other, other than that works good especially outside or indoor low light it didn't have uh, a problems so the camera in general is very good now I'll leave you with these samples so that way you guys can uh, judge by yourself
Now if you have the Samsung Galaxy A20 and you are looking to this video, I would recommend not to buy this one. Do not upgrade to this one. That's not going to be an upgrade in my opinion. Yes, it does have bigger screen and it has a triple camera, some light improvements on the camera, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. So do not do this. But if you are a brand new customer and you would like to buy a Samsung budget device and you would like to get like a triple camera, big size screen with some good features, this might be the phone you should go with or you can check some other companies like Xiaomi Redmi 8 is a great device cheaper with more specifications more battery and will be a better option than this device I will leave this up to you this this is just my opinion and everything's totally up to you that was very much it for that video I wish you guys found this video helpful it did uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe to variety stick for more content in the future and I will talk to you in the next video